right, so uh, who's your favorite athlete and why? Uh, my favorite athlete is Todd Gurley with the LA Rams. I like his work ethic and I like his uh, ability to put team over his own personal uh, desire to like score and like achieve records and stuff. Thanks. Now, who's your favorite athlete and why? I would say my favorite athlete is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo just because he's always being criticized and he's always being hated, but he never he never listens to any of it. He just doesn't care, and, and I think you got to have tough skin for that, you know, in a, in a match with 50,000 people and screaming stuff at you, and he just brushes it off like he doesn't care. He works hard for what he wants, and I think he's a – He's a really, a really great uh, role model. All right, thanks, Marcos. All right, so uh, we're here with John Castanino. Um, John, who's your favorite athlete and why? Uh, obscure, it's Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr of the Chicago Bulls in the 90s, um, the guy would show up and he'd just make shots, right? And how do you not fall in love with a guy like that? So for personal reasons, you know, I was the smallest guy on the court when I played basketball, so I looked up to Steve as the guy, the, the assassin, right, the sniper. Um, that's, what, that's what I was on the school uh, playgrounds um, growing up in elementary school. I could make shots. So uh, I would tape the three-point contests uh, when they aired them, you know, back when VCRs were a thing. I'd tape them and make sure that I saved them for future reference. So love Steve Kerr, loved him in the 97 finals with the greatest shot of all time. Pass from Michael Jordan. When have you seen Michael Jordan pass it to somebody to make a game-winning shot? That's why Steve Kerr is my favorite athlete of all time. Uh, what do you think about the situation, uh, you know, part of his early background where uh, his father got killed? I don't know if you heard about that. When, when he was at Arizona and he went on to have a good game, I think he had to play that night. I think he scored like 25 points. Um, what's your opinion on, on that story? Well, you talk about uh, athletes more and more today, more so than 30 years ago or however long ago that you want to go back about their impact on social change and social issues. And clearly Steve Kerr has taken positions uh, on numerous um, topics and it's based on his background. Yeah, his father was assassinated. I mean, you want to talk about uh, somebody that has an excuse to speak out, you know, what's on his mind. His father was killed. I think it was overseas serving, you know, the United States as an ambassador uh, in another country. Um, and so, I mean, it changes your life, and you see how it's impacted Steve in a positive way. And he does. He makes his opinions known, and it's all for, for good. I mean, you can be on both sides. He's taken stances on hot-button topics, especially concerning maybe our president and the direction he's taking the nation. But I think he should have the right to do that, um, as long as it's in a respectful tone, at least in my opinion. And I think Steve has done that.